Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. Today I just want to do a little bit of crafting. I have um, gotten a hold of a bunch of Rolodex, a box of it for a thousand. I got them really cheap for like a couple of dollars. But I used a couple for like pockets and such and uh, there's just still a whole bunch. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. And so the other day I was playing around and, I, and uh, because they're connected I thought well they'll be nice to make a little uh, little notebook little you know notepad whatever so here's what I was able to uh, come up with so with a little pocket with a tag This one I, I backed it with some music notes. Same thing back here. So um, I'm going to be using this and this one I put two little tags on it and I embellished it a little bit. So I'm going to be using this to as a thank you gift for uh, anybody that purchased my journals on my Etsy store. So I will include those to say thank you. This one is just like a file folder. It's got a little mini tag there and uh, you can certainly add the little note pad on the side there just like that and then you can decorate. I don't know, I was thinking of adding that on there but I wasn't filling it so we'll figure out something else with that. But And I just put a little bit of brads on the side and a little bit of charm. So. Let's go ahead and work on this. It'll be, it's really easy. So all you need is um, Rolodex. My, my Rolodex is three by five, so I have the large size. Now, if your Rolodex are not connected like this, it's okay, don't worry. It will work just fine as well, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cover the front. I went ahead and pre-cut my paper, so it's like I said, the Rolodex size is three, um, three by five. So I'm gonna go and just put a line of glue on the edge. Now you can sew this if you like. You don't have to. Uh, I did stitching on one right here, which looked really nice. So, and here's another one. So you can definitely sew them if you like, but it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna line this up like so. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I got my, my, um, camera set up where it's really focused you guys because this I'm using a glass uh, workspace here and the glare on my light right above is so bad it's so bad so uh, I'm gonna try not to go off screen here and just really stay here where I need to be now you can go ahead and cover this um, with music notes, uh, text, uh, book pages, or you know, um, crafting paper, whatever you want to do. But I'm gonna leave mine. So, but we need to um, ink it, right? We ink everything. Oh, in this ink, I I just kind of improvised a little bit. I saw Crafty Irina using kiwi color shine and uh, so i gave it a try but excuse me um <laughs> the the little tip it came with it's really hard to use sometimes when you press that little button a whole glob of it just comes out so not good so what she ended up doing is really pouring it somewhere else as well so what i ended up doing is i found this little jar it's like a bouillon jar and um i saved it and and i put i cut a sponge big enough to fit here 
and I poured the whole thing in there and this little guy I found at Target they come in a set of three um, this is the medium and this is the small one now this small one I cut in half with the handle because I want it to be able to just sit in there and I can close it so with that said I really love it um, the color is um, you can't even tell the difference you can't even tell the difference and I love the sponge it it works just like the one um, the round and the rectangular um, applicator that Tim Holtz have so um, yeah give it a try you guys and um, it works really good you can see you can't even tell the difference so um, and I put it in here just so it doesn't dry up and it'll last long so look at that it and I think this little sponge is a great substitute for those um, applicator that Tim Holtz has as well if you ever need them and you can't find them I um, you know I think that this were great I found this at Target this they they come in a package of three so and the medium size is just perfect so and um, I like to just go down the center as well just to ink that up fold it okay like that I mean you can lightly do do the center so it's not so white as well so so that's that okay close it so it doesn't dry set that aside so now we need to do the pocket I have cut my pocket and it is three by two so it's two inches high and I'm just gonna run a bead of glue like that and then just set it here that's our pocket okay and now we're gonna put our little notepad now this notepad I made, these are just salvage pieces from uh, making my journal. You know, we always have leftover. This happens to be uh, two and a half inches, two and a half inches wide, and it's the four and a quarter high, okay? And all I did is I put them together. There's only, what, probably five or six pages here. And I put them together. I use very uh, fix I just kind of ran it across I aligned all my paper and I ran it across and I just squeeze it with my finger and run it through now that became a little notepad there be all attached and then the nice thing is you can tear them one by one if you and it ever need one this is exactly what I did this is this is just that okay and they're attached there so you can just tear one at a time you're good to go okay but I decided I'm gonna do is it perpurated is that the word you can you see guys the dot there so what I did is I ran them on my sewing machine without the thread so and I just went right across now they became you know you you now can tear them apart one by one okay now to secure them nicely I went and got my cardstock and to coordinate it with my um, book this this guy measures two and a half by two inches by two and a half of obviously the same um, length of my um, my notepad right and then I just cord it at a half an inch and that's exactly how that measure okay now I'm gonna glue mine a little bit in place just to hold that and then I'm gonna go run a bead of glue on that half inch section as well on the back okay now you don't have to glue this but I like to then you take your stapler I have this mini stapler by Tim Holtz you don't have to have this you can use regular stapler and then just run to 
try to center it even it on your paper okay and that's it now you can do this as match box just obviously cut your little cardstock longer and wrap it around and it'll be a match box right but um, this is how I want to do this one okay so I'm just gonna position it there and this is where this cardstock extension on the back comes to play it is gonna be what's gonna hold our post-it our little note note pages in place just like that just like that okay now we could have edged uh, ink that but I totally forgot but that's okay that's okay okay that and then I have a cardstock here this is two and a half by three and a half inches and I'm gonna use my paper studio um, tag punch just like that I like to round my edge I'm gonna put a little what do you call this guy and that just goes right there like that now you can decorate this section if you like just like I did on some of mine so let's see like that you can decorate them I'm not gonna do this one so that's that we're almost done I'm gonna round now you can you can sew this if you like like I said but um, I'm not going to this time okay so that's that now we're gonna go on the front and do our decoration now this can you guys see my stitching? You're not going to find this on your sewing machine if you're going to try and look for it, okay? I promise you, you won't find it. You know why? It's because this is my attempt of free motion. This is my attempt to try and do the loop, the loop, the loop, the loop, the loop stitching. But this is what it ended up with, so. <laughs> but you know what? I think it was cute. I think it's really pretty I like it it's neat it's different so instead of the typical zigzag I decided let's keep going keep going but still I didn't do so good it was still horrible <laughs> so anyways uh, I really like it so I'm I'm gonna definitely attempt to stitch my embellishment in that manner again so I'm gonna pick this one this, these are just images from a, uh, a flower book, uh, a bulb, a matter of fact. So, and I just cut them up to size and attached them to another cardstock and sew them together. And I'm going to put this guy right here. I believe I inked this guys already, yeah, so I'm not going to ink anymore. Just like that. Okay, so now you can do, you can add a word there if you like. Uh, let's do inspired because I was totally inspired with free motion stitching I was uh, <laughs> attempting to create. I was inspired. I ended up making so much more. So let's get my inky sponge and eat this guy just a little bit more. Now it's not straight doesn't have to be I don't I don't want it to be and I'm gonna put it just right there like so I 
So that's that. And let's see, we're almost done. Now we'll want to reinforce the backing of this journal because we don't want it to break. And so I'm just going to take a piece of my muslin fa fabric. I'm going to run a bead of glue here and here. And just try to put that as even as you can possibly do it. Let's fold it. Oops, sorry, I, I went off frame there because I'm really, really close, so I'm so sorry. Okay. Alright, so that's that. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to put a little bit of dangle on there just like this guy's okay this is a butterfly and just some seed bead so I'm gonna put it right here and when we put the notepad we made sure it doesn't interfere with that bead so I'm just over here because I don't want to punch the hole on my glass plate Okay, so I just did that. Now we're gonna put the mini brads. Now, when I initially got this container, I always open the wrong side. So every time I open it, it's all over the place. So I decided I'm gonna mark it top. Never since I did that, I never have and never spilled them anymore. So do that if you if you have those little guys, because it's so frustrating. I wanted to just throw that little container away because I would always drop them and I had to pick them up they're so tiny look it's so hard to grab a hold of them so okay and I'm just gonna set this real quick you guys okay that's that so then we just need to add our bead I have a um, hemp cord here you can use whatever cord you want especially the one that is going to um to fit your little bead that you want to use okay so um i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna do it this way okay if you're if your um cord if you ever have trouble and it's like unraveling on you or whatnot just run a little glue on it and run your finger between between it like like so and then just uh, twist it the way the thread is originally twisted okay just follow its original grain and then it'll uh, stiffen up your your little thread here and it makes your um, threading so much easier it goes right through like that okay and then I'm gonna use some seed bead these are a little bit bigger than the typical seed bead like uh, let me see back like this guys these are small I'm gonna I'm gonna try and show you guys the comparison I don't know. I'm sure you can find them at Michael's or Joanne, but I just re re um, recycled this from an outfit. I save every bit. So, so, but look at the size. It's so tiny, you guys, okay? Um, so we're just going to beat them. I'm going to put three on the first set. Okay, so so three and, and your little dangle, and then I'm going to feed it through the eyelet. And then I'm going to feed one. Whoops. Okay, I got one. And then I'm going to go from the back to the front. Okay, 
and then I'm gonna feed my last two bead beads. This guy's too big. Well, let's use it. Okay, and then we're gonna just tie a knot to secure our seed bead. Okay, and then we're just gonna adjust our string how we want them, how long you want them. Did you see what I did with that with that last bead? It became my stopper here on that eyelet. See? It became my stopper so it, so my de uh, my charm is not going to go anywhere now. And just kind of I like it one longer than the other. So I'm just gonna, I'm going to end up cutting this some more. Well, maybe not, because we want to save as much as we can, right? So, and then I'm just going to tie a knot. That's it. It's all done. You guys, I hope you like it, and I hope that that wasn't too complicated for you guys to follow. I'm not very good. But there you go. Oops. It's right here. There you go, guys. I hope you like it. So easy, quick, and um, and they're just great addition to add into your journal or to to just use by itself. Or um, I'm gonna use them as a thank you gift. So you can either attach it here and use it as a an additional tuck spot there. Or just take a um, paper clip and just paper clip it into your journal like so, right? Or you can just hang it like this, okay? Or just use it by itself. Or if you have a uh, band on your journal like I do, you can certainly s just add it on there like so. They're a lot of fun and uh, I love the, the perforated idea so you can just um, tear the little note if you ever need to uh, give somebody some information. So um, I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial and that you give it a try and uh, yeah have fun they're so addicting another use to for those rolodex that we have instead of just pockets so and then like I said this one is a file folder so and you can certainly add a um, little uh, notepad here as well so all right guys thank you so much for um, crafting with me today and uh, I hope you give it a try and uh, we'll talk to you guys again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.